Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I've just finished testing out another Powerline Adapter Kit which the latest one was the Devolo Powerline Adapter Kit 550 Duo Plus and I'll try not to forget to post some links right over here for the individual reviews of these devices. Now this video in particular will be about how Powerline Adapters work, what do they do, which is a question that I get sometimes on my channel and for those of you that already know what Powerline Adapters do, just run away from here, do your favor to yourself and to me as well, but for those of you that don't know how they work, I'll try to explain as best as I can. And uh, talking about that, let's start this. Now, let's imagine that you hire a internet provider to uh, bring internet signal to your home. So what they will do is they will bring the cable from outside your home to your home and they will deliver a device like this, which is a router or a router, uh, as you want to call it. Now, from that point on, we will have access to the internet through this device, either Wi-Fi, which on this particular case is not that good, uh, or e Ethernet connection. So I can just grab any cable and connect, a Ethernet cable, of course, and then connect to uh, any device that I have here on the office on this example. Uh, usually, and I think that will work uh, worldwide, uh, we ask the technician on which area we want to install uh, the router. This is the way it works in Portugal at least. Even if they have to drill a lot of holes, they will place the router wherever you ask. Now, having that said, uh, we can connect physically any computer, any laptop, any NAS unit, whatever you want. But the question is, what if you want to uh, have Ethernet signal on your living room, on your bedroom, on your kid's bedroom, on your WC, doesn't matter, <laughs> whatever. Because this one here is limited somehow to the office, at least on this example here. Now, newer houses, at least in Portugal, built in 2014 and 2015 uh, forward, uh, it's mandatory to have Ethernet connections on the wall um, besides the uh, power sockets and the cable sockets, also Ethernet, which I think it's great. But for those of you like me that have older houses, mine was built about 2004-2005, uh, we don't have uh, that luxuries <laughs> of having the RJ45 on the wall. So we will have to rely in two options, one of which is to go to the local store, grab about 50 meters of this Ethernet cable, CAT 5e or CAT 6 uh, to have the best results and then start drilling our walls, sorry, drilling our walls and gluing the cables so that we can reach from point A, which is the office in this case, to our living room or to our bedroom or to our kitchen, which uh, honestly will be a lot of mess of cables around the house. My wife would, <laughs> would not allow me to do that. Uh, but that being said, this is one of the options to uh, extend cables on your house. The second option is through power line adapters. And this is uh, where the, <laughs> the explanation will start. So how do power line adapters work? Now I've got two examples here. Um, and usually when you get a kit, uh, you will get two of them, which you can then uh, purchase. If you need to extend more, you can purchase a third unit or a fourth unit or a fifth. Uh, just have in mind that if you connect more than uh, five, uh, four or five adapters, your Ethernet power will go a little bit slower. This is the way uh, that things uh, work. But let's start with the first kit that you get. Uh, so what you have to do is connect you have your internet router on your office, for example, uh, as I said before, and all we have to do is connect this uh, power line adapter kit, which is the first one, to our router and then connect it to the wall. And what this means is that from now on, I've got Ethernet signal on my power grid. Uh, so every socket, every electrical socket that I have on my home is capable of driving the Ethernet signal. So this one is connected on the office near my router and connected through a Ethernet cable. And now all I have to do is to get the second one and select the area where I want to install it. Let's say the living room where I want to connect a a Android TV box, for example, which I've got one right over here. And all I have to do is connect this device on the living room, on my um, electrical socket. And from that point on, all I have to do is press, and this works across all brands, um, just press uh, for a few seconds the button and press a few seconds on the other button. This is just the first time, and then you don't need to do, <laughs> to do this every day. Uh, what happens is that they will synchronize each other, and that is it. We've got internet uh, signal, or ethernet signal to be more precise, uh, coming out of this uh, device right over here. And all I have to do is connect this one this cable in this particular case and I've got my internet signal coming out 
on this case on the living room for example uh, now i can connect my device and the example that i was showing was the android tv box on my living room so this is the way that it works on one area of our house we have the router and the first adapter and then on the second area of our house living room bedroom and so on and so forth all we need to do is connect this uh, power line adapter kit and then any device a smart tv a android tv box a console anything that uh, that you use so this is the basic usage and with great results once again i'll leave on on the youtube cards the way that i use and by the way i i've used the power line adapter since i was a kid on my parents uh, house which I wanted to get the most out of the connection and my dad uh, didn't allow me to, to drill holes on the house but that, that's another topic. Now we have the basic uh, configuration here Ethernet uh, connection only but let's assume that later on you want to have also a stronger uh, signal on another place of your house on your balcony or on your barbecue area doesn't matter well as long as it doesn't it's an area that doesn't rain because these devices are electrical they don't like uh, water so what you can do is you already have your living room uh, with uh, signal now let's say that you want to place it on a bedroom and on this particular case this one is the the Wi-Fi AC which is right over here from the develop and review right over here uh, what I have to do is connect this on another area connect uh, if I want to connect the device this one also also allows me to connect two devices and besides that it has a great great Wi-Fi AC power uh, that you can check on the individual review so in this moment what I have is one router connected to a power line and then on my living room one or two devices connected and on my bedroom another one or two or three or four uh, through Wi-Fi connected with great results and the best thing is that I didn't have to uh, drill holes on my wall and so on and so forth. So this is it guys, this is the best way that I can explain. I've done this in the past through writing, um, but I wanted to take this chance to explain a little bit better how these things work and how do I use them uh, on my particular case. Hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that thumbs up over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.